Robbie Weeds here. Uh, it's the sixth day of May. Beautiful day out. Um, wanted to talk a little bit about annual bluegrass, Poania. You can see it here, see these seed heads. Um, they wave in the wind. Um, they are considered a weed. They're a winter annual. They really like cold weather. Um, they get confused for a lot of things. Uh, people think, obviously, like other grassy weeds, they think they're crabgrass. Uh, gets confused with orchard grass because of the pale green color that's similar to that. Um, I just want to talk about a couple of the identifying features. Um, the panicle, the inflorescence, is very similar to other bluegrasses, just smaller. It's the pale color. Um, one of the things I use is uh, that it has a very pointed legule. I'm not going to be able to show you, but if you look in the crevice of uh, where the leaf sheath um, splits, You'll see a pointed legule. Obviously, uh, this is kind of tough, but there you go. See that white membranous legule? Um, sometimes there's a couple hairs on it, but uh, it's pointed. It's very different than um, uh, other legules. Obviously, the size is different than orchard grass, which has a very large and serrated legule. Um, just a little bit about Poania. It goes to seed, obviously, very low. Um, people take advantage of that on golf courses by it being a very tolerant to low cutting. Um, th they use it on greens and um, teas. And actually Oakmont, I believe it's in Pittsburgh or outside of Pittsburgh, um, has uh, greens that are Poania. And Tiger Woods always raves about how fast and predictable the greens are because uh, Poania, um, you know, can be cut very uniformly, very low. Um, it uh, It's a bunch type grass. It doesn't I don't believe it spreads too much by rhizomes. I think um, Kentucky bluegrass does spread a little bit through rhizomes. I'm not sure if Poania annual bluegrass uh, spreads through rhizomes greatly. It might a little bit, but it's, I know it's classified mostly as a bunch type grass, but if you can see here, um, it really uh, grows in very dense patches. And uh, unfortunately, there's not many selective controls in cool season grass. I believe there's a few in warm season grass, but in my temperate zone, um, we're all cool season grass, so there's not very many herbicides that are going to selectively kill this. Um, but mostly I recommend just waiting it out. It's a winter annual. Once it gets hot, um, it's going to get stressed out. And, uh, you know, the, the cool season grasses surrounding it are going to squeeze it out and, um, you know, it'll, it'll go away. So I mostly tell people just to, you know, relax, um, you know, once it warms up, uh, you'll see it, it every time you cut it it'll get less and less prominent so um yeah this is just my thoughts on uh uh poania um you know people hate it I, I, you know the pale green color doesn't match a really rich green dark green that i really like to strive for with my fertilizers but uh you know i don't see it as a nuisance the seed heads obviously aren't uniform with the rest of the turf but it's only around for a month and a half in the springtime so all right Polanya, annual bluegrass. Robbie weeds out.